This is the 2001 main ship 430 aft cabin trawler. This boat is by far the lowest price in the world market. It has such a great floor plan. Three cabins, galley up on the same level as the salon. <clears throat> Just a big roomy cruiser. Lots of potential, lots of opportunity in this boat. The first thing you'll notice about the main ship 430 aft cabin trawler is the entryways on the boat. It doesn't matter where you're docked or where you're anchored, there is just entryways on every which way to get on this boat. On the side here, on the back transom right here, there's a doorway that swings open. As well as over here on the port the side. aft is a good example of the big deep walkways in this boat uh, with high the rails. Size of these walkways for a boat of this size interior. I mean, the boat has three cabins, but look how much room yeah, they left. Maneuver around the front of the boat to tie lines and whatnot. Keeps your uh, crew and company safe. On the top side there, you'll see the chalks for a dinghy, as well as a bracket to mount the outboard. And there, you can see it's all pre-set up for a davit right there for okay, your Okay, and walking up to the bridge, you will see it is just a huge area for not only captaining the boat, but entertaining. I mean, if you just look at all the seating in a 360 direction, it is just a massive seating area to keep the captain company. Also, there's plenty of room at the table. Right above the bridge is a canvas bimini, which you will see at least needs to be re-sewn in places, but a big bimini to keep everybody shaded. The helm is equipped with a chart plotter, radar, autopilot, as well as VHF radio and a Tridata information center. And there you have a Tridata that's powered up and working, as well as a GPS radar split screen there. Uh, the GPS isn't getting a fix and the radar scanner is reading a fault, but it is powered up and working. Then you have a VHF radio plus okay, autopilot. Okay, and this is the salon entry and let me just let you take a look at the first impressions of the boat. On your port side as you walk into the cabin you'll see a huge seating area, a big large couch in the salon and lots of windows on your port side. As you can see the boat shows a little wear and tear but of course you know if someone wanted to address this cosmetically they could just always throw a new upholstery on a couch or a new finish and on I the just floor. mentioned the floors all the wood floors throughout this boat of course are just so pretty but I would definitely refinish them on the starboard side as you enter the boat the first thing you'll see is a small desk area with cabinets for storage and once again the big windows and across from the big seating area is your entertainment center. Uh, lots of storage throughout, but as you can see, all the entertainment center power. And above the desk on the starboard side, you have all your systems panels. Good time to mention that the uh, three AC systems, air conditioning systems, have been replaced and are new. Uh, but as you can see, it's a well-organized panel. And regarding those three new air conditioning systems, it is 95 degrees outside but is a cool 75 degrees inside, so the air conditioning systems are doing their In job. your galley area, I believe everything is operational. I mean, though the boat has sat for a while, uh, the stove, all three burners heat up, the microwave oven, the coffee maker, all power up and seem to work fine. The refrigerator gets nice and cold. I mean, just everything seems to work. Also below the helm seat, you'll see there's a large freezer below the helm seat and that gets freezing cold. So that's all operational and works fine. As well as the ice maker that is right next to the refrigerator. Powers up, freezes cold, 
Everything up. Then in and around your appliances, you will see lots of storage, drawers, cupboards, all that on both sides. And then, of course, above the counter. And that brings us to our lower helm station. Uh, we have some, as you can see, some breakers on for the, uh, the bridge upstairs. But just a very nice, well-finished lower helm station with very comfortable seating and a footrest below that we have folded up. Both helms are equipped with hydraulic shifts and throttles, which makes operating the boat that much smoother. To accompany the windows in the uh, salon area that are big and large, we have large big windows for the lower helm viewing as well. Uh, the center windshield wiper is inoperational, but both port and starboard windshield wipers work just fine. And also the horn is currently in operation. And this is called the aft cabin trawler is because the master is in the aft. And as you will see in this master, there is just a huge stateroom back here, as well as a very large bed. This would be a good time to mention that people may want to uh, refresh the soft goods and then buy new comforters and things like that. But, I mean, you can see the master stateroom is in very good condition. Master, you have end tables accompanying both sides of the large king-size bed as well as a ton of storage down the side here for clothing and whatnot. And then a huge closet here. Underneath the king size bed, you see two large drawers for clothing storage. And with the master stateroom comes your own private head. And of course a door for closing. And I'll just kind of show you a nice and smooth door that operates for closing and privacy. And let's get back to the head. The head is a very, very roomy head. It's got a separate shower, very large shower stall. And then a big sink area, as well as mirrors, its own window, and of course, a toilet. And walking back through the salon brings us to our two front cabins. Once again, you'll see the carpeting down below, which being that amount of carpeting can be easily replaced. And that brings us right to the starboard side. As soon as you get down the stairs, you'll see the community head. Uh, once again, very large head. And if I can get in here, I'll show you what is a very large shower stall, separate shower. And there. coming out of the head, and if we go straight into the V-Birth cabin, you'll see, you know, once again, carpeting that could be replaced or at the very least cleaned up but give you a good shot of the entire V-Birth cabin which has lots of drawer spaces as well as a big closet once again with that interior seat. And coming out of the V-Birth cabin to the port side is the third cabin, the port side cabin. And part of the reason of this video is not only to show you the amazing potential and opportunity but to show you the uh, the things that need work as you can see like in that area right there it needs refinishing but it rained torrentially yesterday and none of the none of the windows leaked none of the doors leaked it remained watertight so but we want to show you the things that uh that could use some work things like carpeting wood that could be refinished and things like that and you know mirrors that could be replaced I mean, there certainly is some cosmetic work, work that could be done. Which, on this underneath these floorboards in the salon, is your engine's twin Caterpillar 300 horsepower engines. And as you can see, they fire right up. Here are a shot of the twin Caterpillar 300 horsepower engines running. They have a little over 2,000 hours on them. But they are running and working well. 